Hey guys, we're back on the Nova Show, and today I want to speak on some of the new features that we're working on just for you. Now, as you may or may not have seen, we have actually added some new features to Tunes. We actually added a new option in the menu bar called Spotlight. Now, in the future, as we add more content and more music to Tunes, it will be spotlighted right there for you. We're actually speaking with several different companies to get a lot more license-free music for you guys to use in your videos. Now, we're actually working very hard to make Tunes a lot better for you guys to use, and as new features get added, I will definitely let you guys know. We're also in the process of relaunching Beat. For those of you who do not know what Beat is, it is actually our rec label here at Freedom. And through Beat, we can actually sign artists and distribute their music worldwide. We're also in the process of relaunching and updating all content on the Beat YouTube channel. And in the future, we're gonna be adding daily shows similar to what you guys see here at Freedom Central, as well as highlighting our partners and artists. So through Beat and through Tunes, we are actually looking to make Freedom the place to be for all YouTube musicians. Now in music news, Apple has just announced that they've hit 11 million iPhone subscribers in the first four weeks of their free trial service. That actually puts them in sixth place among streaming music providers such as Pandora and Spotify. Now for Apple, is this actually a great start? You guys may remember that for iTunes Radio, they actually hit 11 million subscribers during the end of the first week. I guess we'll find out once the free trial period is actually over. Now, if you guys have Apple Music, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think about it. In other news, Ed Sheeran is set to receive an honorary degree for his outstanding contributions to music from the university campus Suffolk in England. Now, this is set to happen later this year, so congratulations to Ed. Now, Megan Trainer has announced through Instagram that she's gonna have to cancel the rest of her tour due to a hemorrhage in her vocal cords. Now, she also announced that she's gonna have to get surgery to correct this. So for myself and the team here at Freedom, we wish Megan Trainer a speedy and healthy recovery. Now in Drake news, Drake's latest album, If You're Reading This, has become the first album to be released in 2015 to sell over a million units. Congratulations, Drake. Now for the first time in 16 years, legendary hip-hop super producer Dr. Dre has finally released a new album. The album is called Compton Soundtrack and features Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, Exhibit, and a slew of other artists. Now it looks like the album will actually be number one in the UK once the charts are officially released later this week. Now if this actually happens, this will actually be Dr. Dre's first number one album in the UK. Now in the US, it looks like Dr. Dre will actually have the second best album in the country behind country superstar Luke Bryan and his album Kill the Lights. Now if you guys are fans of Burger King's chicken fries, like I am, it looks like we may have to thank One Direction for them. Now according to reports, Burger King's chief marketing officer has stated that the reason why they brought back the chicken fries was because of the popularity of them among social media. He actually stated that a post made by member Liam Payne of One Direction caused such a huge stir among social media that it convinced the team at Burger King to bring back the chicken fries. So that's it for today's episode of The Nova Show. Till next time, you guys take care. I'll be that ghost in the nighttime. Soon as young man get ghost, I'll be that lifeline. And I'm grown when I approach.